Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. So welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Thanks a lot for joining me. My name's Mac. Um, so it looks like there's been a bit of a change. Uh, we need to go meet Hosea and uh, sort out all the moonshine we got in the last episode. So what we'll do is we'll get on old Brucey and we'll head over to Hosea's position. And when we're a bit nearer, we will see you there. So welcome back. So we're just getting to Hosea now. He's just up here with the stagecoach. <laughs> Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Right, this could be very stupid or very uh, genius. Uh, we're going to go and take back the moonshine that we took uh, to the Braithwaite. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. Right, let's go and see her. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. He's an absolute legend, Hosea. Brilliant character. Right, so we've not met the Braithwaite yet properly. So we've seen the grey, so uh, this is Lady Braithwaite. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought... Uh, maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's out. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Ooh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> no, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Wanna do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen. Uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. 
There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. right. Next stop, the Rhodes Saloon. Bloody hell, they look like a Here motley crew. Go. Right, so we're back off to Rhodes. So the Braithwaite's moonshine is going to be given out uh, free. So the Greys aren't going to like that. Got close to a thousand for them. Let's more, see what happens. Bad, considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, yeah so this could turn quite nasty when they're playing off two families together. Certain ourselves um, in his blood yeah, we'll see if we can get anything out of it. We'll need some. I ain't playing dress. <laughs> yep. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Oh, oh God. Please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Why? Oh, oh this is going to end in tragedy, I think. Put this hat on. <laughs> oh, we just got a bird in the back of the uh, cart. Gun. Bring your lip for it. You can have a just, bit of crispy duck with the moonshine. Oh, perfect. Yeah. What about you? Oh, shh, shh. You like can't it. speak. <laughs> You're turned idiot. <laughs> okay, we're nearly in right. roads now. Broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there. Fenton, there, there. Fenton. Don't get mad now. Huh? Alright, so we're going to sell her at the saloon. Around here, right? So Arthur's playing dress up. He's meant to be an idiot. Oh, this is going to be good. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. <laughs> For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> right, let's get a bit of moonshine. <laughs> Look at that bird in the back. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello! Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys... How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come on along, Fenton. Right, we're going in. Let's hand out the liquor. Right, free booze. Oh, they're going to laugh us. Right, we're going in this way, I think. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Mel. That's my brother, Fink. He's a bit funny. But boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. Oh, paradise. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor <laughs> thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your luck. I'll have one, Bill. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to look at gift horses. When I see a gift horse, I'm going to my eyes. Oh, that's a 
some strong catchers all. Oh, that was once to be a barman. Don't be shy, boys. Don't be shy and take the Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. Oh, the moonshine's flying. There you go, fella. Over here, Finn. <laughs> oh, what a night. Yeah, look at this guy. Hey, oh, we're still pouring. Keep it coming. These souls need some joy. Oh, they're absolutely trolleyed. Wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> I only went out for milk. Come on, he's <laughs> yeah, I've done that before. Oh, he's an absolute machine, Fenton. Just keep him coming. Drink up, drink. Oh dear. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You, me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Joe, we're in advertising. Come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get them. Oh, oh, oh dear. So these are the guys we um, stole the moonshine off. Hosea. Take a bit of cover. Alright, let's get up there. Oh, how the hell did we get into this? Where is he? Oh, Jesus Christ. Say, oh god. Oh, right, he had all the bows here. Let's go. Oh, god. oh, he's just waiting around there, we'll get him. That's our booze, you damn bastards! Ah! Well Let's go! Right, just get a tonic or something. Health tonic, that'll do. Oh, God. Oh, he took advantage of me taking the tonic. Oh, beauty. Bloody uh, hyper uppercut. Right, where the hill is... Um... Right, get over there, Arthur. Come on, Franken! Beauty. Out of here. Ain't gonna let this go, are you? Any better guns? Right, I think we'll use two. We'll double well. I see them. Well, uh, shoot them then. <laughs> oh, sorry, I shot your house. Behind us, Arthur, coming out of the alley. Everyone find you! There's another one. Good shot. Thank you. To your right. Oh god. We run the liquor around here. Stay the hell out of our Where the hell is he? Oh there he is. We gonna burn you. Oh, I love it when you got two guns on the go. Oh god, there's one over here. Yeah, beauty. Is that like a firebomb or something? Jesus. You think you can steal from us? You're dead man! There's one behind me. I think he's gone. Oh, this is awesome. You think we wouldn't find you? Good shooting, Benton. 
Oh, fucking Jedi, man. Stay the hell out of our business. There's more to your right. You see any more of them? Don't think so. Then we did them all. Shooting Fenton. Jesus, all this over a few bottles of booze? <laughs> I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Yeah. Okay. Pull off the road here. Alright, we're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career in... What was it? Advertise. <laughs> you think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Uh, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We're making after of you yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. I love Hosea. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus, and on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them... Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Why the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Hey, back. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Oh, that sounds like a dodgy plan. So we're definitely working both families now. Um, oh, I bloody enjoyed that mission. That was awesome. Um, so I think that's where we'll leave this episode. We'll just have a little look at the map, just see what's going on. Uh, just what's coming up in the next few episodes. So we've still got Mrs. O'Shea there. Uh, and then we've got like the Greys and the Braithwaites. So we can go to either. Uh, there's the Braithwaites and there's the Greys. So that'll be for the next episode, but thanks so much for joining me. I really do appreciate you taking the time out to watch my videos. If you did like what you saw, and you would consider subscribing, uh, that'd be absolutely bonza. But until the next time, stay safe and take it easy.